what we're about to do. So, we went to look around the anechoic chamber yesterday, and if you don't know what that is, in a nutshell, it's basically a room designed specifically to have zero reflections. So like in this room, with the hard walls and ceilings, if I clap, you can hear, you know, reverberation. An anechoic chamber, the whole point is for it to have zero reflection. So it's the deadest possible sound. It's a very, very silent room. It's so silent that if you're stood in there for long enough, you can hear your own heartbeat because there's no other sound. I was like, well, I wonder what it sounds like with a guitar amp. If you put one in there, has anyone ever done that? What does a guitar amp sound like without the reflections? Because most distorted amps sound good because of the way they fill the room and they reflect. Is it going to sound really good, really dry, or really terrible? And we're going to record it with a microphone, and we're going to go and try it out with a Hughes and Kettner Triumph Mark III. I know it says, and I'm not going to, but you know when there's something that says, please don't touch it? You just want to touch it more. All I want to do is feel it, but I'm not going to. As soon as you cross over this threshold from outside, and then you go inside, you immediately hear the, that's so crazy. Yeah, it is, <laughs> isn't it? See, what's weird is the only reflection I'm getting is from it coming out there. When I clap... <laughs> <laughs> Making sure he doesn't touch the phone. Yes. <laughs> I, for all those who don't know who this is, this is Richard Morgan. He is the point of contact. He got in touch with me to do fun stuff with Hughes and Kettner. He's a really nice guy. and um, He's, he's been really, showing us around. He has. But we were just saying that when I clap, you're only hearing the echo from the other room because the sound's travelling out that way. This is the amp we're going to try. So this is, this was new, came out uh, at NAMM, it's the Triumph uh, Mark III. In a nutshell, three amps in one box, each amp has two channels. So we're going to do like a clean and probably a crunch, and then an overdrive. And a <laughs> Sorry, I love this solution for the tripod because of the grated floor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also, it's worth pointing out that each wall, all the walls on the ceiling and the floor are two meters thick with this foam. Yep. This is one of the largest in Europe and in the industry of music instruments and equipment. It's the largest in the world. So that's pretty pr pretty cool. You should uh, probably get a guitar. Okay. I didn't touch it. Don't even look at it. I just put my arm in the hole, <laughs> but I didn't touch anything. <laughs> Uber is kind looking of... for an extension cord that we can... Alda. <laughs> <laughs> How loud can it be in here? Pretty loud, I guess. As loud as you want, I imagine. Whoa. It's like, you know what it's like? You know when you've got a parametric EQ and you pull a point up on it and move it like this and it goes... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's exactly like that. Exactly like that. Exactly. I'll just stand here and you walk from there to there. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, it's really like the parametric. It doesn't sound bad. No. Why not? Why? I've never tried a 150 watt valve amp on full power. No, you, you Is that what you're about to do? Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. I okay. know. No, okay. Stop it. Stop it. Wait, I just put on the noise gate just in case. Just in case. <laughs> it's, it's don't fall, don't it's fall. Half, don't fall. It's on don't touch half the phone. volume. It's on half volume right now. Yes. It's, half on, it's on half volume. On half volume. Wait, wait until you play, please. Okay. Don't. Why, why should we do that? I mean. I don't mind. Just do it. I mean, <laughs> okay. the, the ears Just do are going to bleed. Yeah. Wait, wait. Block yes. your ears. Okay. Right. I can't. It's not on full. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's not on full yet. Not, yet. not on full yet. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, you're, you're so protected. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit of air protection. Okay, maybe now. Are we okay? Ready? Again. <laughs> things 
to play. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Keep playing. No. keep playing, keep playing. Keep yeah. playing. Das kommt, das kommt hier auf die Brust. I'm gonna keep playing. Gets on your chest. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're stood there, yeah, so no, you get no, none of the yeah, reflections. Yes, yes. Stand there and play. Yes, yes, oh, the really yeah. direct kind of, oh, yeah. Just just go here and then and I'll <laughs> give you the rest. <laughs> Is this a good idea? No. We'll just walk it, walk into it rather than doing it straight away. Do it anyway. <laughs> oh, oh, that's insane. That wasn't even an exaggeration. <laughs> 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 that <scared the laughs> yeah, yeah. That is so much louder in front than yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh. A bit. Yeah. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go and spend 10 minutes on my own in an anechoic chamber and see what happens. In the dark? Yeah, because apparently after a while you can start to hear your own heartbeat and blood flowing around your body and stuff. So I figured I'd like to experience that. So cool. I might go insane. I might be absolutely fine. Who knows? So we have no way of hearing if you no, want to come out early. If I'm screaming, let me out! And you're looking at the stopwatch, I've like, still got seven minutes left. I'm about to spend 10 minutes in an anechoic chamber on my own without the lights on. <laughs> Just to the right of the door. So it's, uh, it's already been five minutes of uh, beer being in the anechoic chamber. Haven't heard any screams yet, but I don't think I would, even if he was screaming, because it's pretty soundproof in there, so hopefully he's okay. Hopefully when he comes out, he's the same person he was when he went in. <laughs> Who knows? So five minutes to go, he'll be coming out that door. How's it going? Yeah, all right. That was longer than 10 minutes. It felt longer than 10 minutes. It felt quite long. How was it? Really random. Yeah? Well, at first I was sat this, I was lying down. There, yeah. And that was pretty cool. And then I sat up and you could kind of see the light. So I turned around and faced that wall. And what was really weird is it was pitch black. And then after a while, I started to be able to make out the the edges of the room. Mm. And then what was really weird was after maybe five, six minutes and I sort of, sort of phased out of what was going on, I started seeing like, almost like pink mist that kind of appeared and flo floated around the room and then disappeared again. And that would happen like every sort of five, 10 seconds, like a, a cloud of pink mist would like float past and disappear again. My, my eyes or, you know, like mind tricks or whatever, but it was pretty cool. I could hear my pulse. Could you? And I could hear what sounded like liquid being pushed through a tight space. So I'm pretty sure that's blood flow. Weird. <laughs> but that was an experience worth doing. Yeah. I'd highly recommend it. <laughs>